the Brunswick Authority 22 how-to video series. V squeegee adjustments. Presented by Brunswick, the official lane maintenance provider for the PBA National Tour. The V squeegee adjustments should be checked on a monthly schedule. This will help maintain a consistent cleaning performance. It may be necessary to perform these adjustments if the squeegee blade or absorbent wiper requires replacement or if the lane surface topography changes. This procedure should be performed on the lane surface and approach area. Clean the approaches after any work is performed to avoid injury to customers. Each type of adjustment should take approximately 10 minutes or less. Always disconnect power before lifting the machine into transport position. Items required are a 5/32 inch Allen wrench and the 11 inch Phillips screwdriver supplied in the Authority 22 spare parts kit. You will also need a 3/8, 7/16 and half inch open end wrenches as well as a machinist ruler or scale. Inspecting the V squeegee adjustment Before checking the adjustments, perform a clean only run to create a safe working surface. With power connected, open both top covers and remove the waste tank to inspect the V squeegee adjustments. On the graphic user interface, navigate to the maintenance diagnostics cleaning option and select toggle squeegee. Press OK to lower the squeegee to the down position. Push the Authority 22 onto the lane and continue down to the arrows. This distance is a more level location to check the adjustment. Place the machinist ruler on the lane surface behind the squeegee. Slide it against the squeegee blade. Gently lift up the ruler until you feel resistance against the bottom of the squeegee blade. Estimate the angle created between the ruler and the lane surface. The optimum angle is 45 degrees plus or minus 15 degrees across the entire squeegee blade. V squeegee balance adjustment. Effective squeegee contact is important to cleaning performance. In this example, the squeegee has too much contact on the 7 pin side. Use the squeegee pivot shafts if there is a difference with the squeegee contact between the 7 and 10 pin sides. Raise the squeegee using the toggle squeegee feature on the graphic user interface. Mark the current position of the squeegee pivot shaft on the side that has too much contact. Loosen the two mounting screws with the half inch wrench and the pivot shaft will drop to the bottom of the mounting slot. Raise the shaft to the top of the slot and position about 1 16th of an inch below the highest position. Tighten the two mounting screws. Lower the squeegee and check the adjustment again. V squeegee height adjustment. If the squeegee contact with the lane surface is equal but not at the proper 45 degrees, it will be necessary to adjust the squeegee height. Raise the squeegee to the up position. Loosen the four flathead screws that mount the squeegee lifting motor assembly. Remove the buffer brush adjustment tool and insert the 11 inch Phillips screwdriver until it is aligned with the adjustment screw. If the squeegee has less than 30 degrees of contact with the lane surface, turn the screwdriver clockwise to increase the squeegee contact. If the squeegee has more than 60 degrees of contact with the lane surface, 
turn the screwdriver counterclockwise to decrease the squeegee contact. Repeat the process until the proper adjustment is achieved. Tighten the four flathead screws, but do not over torque them. V squeegee guide block adjustments. With the Authority 22 on the approach, remove power and raise the machine into the transport position. Use a partner if necessary. Identify the 7 and 10 pin side guide blocks that are used to change the V-squeegee pitch. If the squeegee has uneven contact due to topography issues like depressions, you can adjust for it. Mark the position of the guide block on the 7 pin side. Loosen the two mounting screws with the 3 8 inch wrench. Position the block towards the front bumper to increase the squeegee contact in the center of the assembly. Tighten the two mounting screws. Now mark the 10 pin side guide block. Loosen the two mounting screws and position the block the same as the 7 pin side. Tighten the two mounting screws. This will help improve cleaning when there are large depressions in the lane surface. If the squeegee has uneven contact due to topography issues like crowns, you can adjust for it also. Loosen the two mounting screws on the 7 pin side with the 3 8 inch wrench. Position the blocks towards the center frame to decrease the squeegee contact in the center of the assembly. Tighten the two mounting screws. Loosen the two mounting screws on the 10 pin side and position the block the same as the 7 pin side. Tighten the two mounting screws. This will help improve cleaning when there are large crowns in the lane surface. The Brunswick Authority 22, the new standard in lane maintenance. Thank you for watching our video. For technical support or other services, please contact Brunswick or an authorized Brunswick distributor.